throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be. Of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. The trickster comes in countless forms throughout world mythologies. From the Norse god Loki, to the Akan spider Anansi, to the fables of Reynard the Fox. Native American cultures tell of many different trickster figures, many unique to one specific culture or another, while others tend to transcend cultural boundaries and find a home in various mythologies all across North America. Such is the case for Coyote. Referred to by a host of different colloquial names, Coyote most often resembles an ordinary coyote, complete with dust-colored fur, a tail, and a handsome canine head. But many stories depict him with human-like qualities such as hands with opposable thumbs and the ability to stand and walk on two legs. Various stories from many different Native American cultures even depict Coyote doing various human activities such as wearing clothing, riding a horse, shooting arrows from a bow, paddling a canoe, and more. Coyote's role in mythology, while always a trickster with a creative streak, can vary greatly. Sometimes he acts as a benefactor to those around him, and even the world as a whole while other times he acts solely for his own benefits and may roll over anyone in his path. He could be generous, giving, heroic, charitable, always there for the people. Or he could be lecherous, greedy, gluttonous, dishonest, self-serving, a complete buffoon, or downright cruel. No matter what he looks like, or his role in folklore, Coyote is universally depicted as being able to radically shake up the status quo with fairly little effort on his part. Some legends show Coyote as a creator, or at the very least name him responsible for how many things in the world are the way that they are. In Crow or Absaroka mythology, the world was created by Old Man Coyote, bringing about the earth from the deep waters of the primordial world, creating trees, grass, plants, all manner of food, hills, mountains, and rivers and streams, before creating men, women, and animals from the clay of the newfound earth. He gave the creatures of the earth tools and weapons to help them survive, sounds and songs to fill the air, language to communicate, and reason to go about life. In Kato mythology, Coyote was the reason that the deceased remained deceased. In this story, there was no such thing as death in the beginning, and the population of all creatures, namely humans, began to overwhelm the land. The chiefs of the world held a council to determine what must be done. They came up with the idea that everyone would die, be gone for a short while, and then return to life. Only Coyote objected, declaring that if people kept on being born and no one died and stayed dead, that the problem would not be fixed at all, that the world would run out of space for everyone and run out of food to feed them all. None of the other chiefs listened to Coyote, and so they built a grass house facing the east where the spirits of the dead would enter in the form of a whirlwind and then be revived. So Coyote closed the door to this grass house and made death eternal. The dead remained dead, and the spirits wandered until they found the road to the spirit world. Though he would sometimes act in the best interest of others, the majority of coyote tales across North America focus on his trickery, namely for personal gain. 
Various stories told in the Pacific Northwest have him shapeshift to get what he wants, such as turning into a fish in order to steal a special fish hook or a harpoon, or even turn into a woman so that an unsuspecting man may marry him and thus feed him and tend to his needs. Even when Coyote does something to benefit those other than himself, he may do so at the expense of another, utilizing cunning and trickery and making the other party look foolish or inept. One such example was when he had organized the theft of fire from three fire spirits who kept it for themselves, guarding it greedily atop a mountain. Coyote, with squirrel, chipmunk, frog, and wood to aid him, stole a portion of the sacred fire during the changing of the guards. After a harrowing chase, the fire was trapped within Wood, who would not give it back. Coyote would then go on to teach mankind how to get fire from Wood. Many stories of Coyote are significantly less profound in nature, yet they may teach a valuable lesson to the listener. A Lakota legend tells of an arrogant Wasichu, or white man, who boasted that no one could ever get the better of him in trading or gambling. But when he met Coyote and learned of his reputation, he challenged him to a battle of wits. Within a few short moments, Coyote managed to trick the Wasichu out of his clothes and his horse and rode off victoriously. But Coyote did not always come out unscathed, for many stories tell of him receiving his comeuppance. One legend tells of how he gave his blanket to a large rock that he felt looked cold, but when he himself became cold later on, he decided to take the blanket back for himself, despite the rock's objections. The rock caused an avalanche that then chased Coyote throughout the forest before flattening him. Coyote has played a host of many roles in many different tales from many different cultures, commonly the trickster, but also the creator, the destroyer, the hero, the villain, the fool, and so on. Shorn of the various surface features from various cultures, Coyote, like all tricksters of myth and legend, embodied the pure creative muse and sheer spontaneity of life and primordial creativity from days long past. In an orderly world of objects and labels, he is the potency of nothingness, chaos, and the freedom to take that nothingness and make something of itself. Coyote reminds us all that there is laughter amid tears and sadness tucked away in a raucous tale. Humanity has much to cry about, but we also need our laughter to survive.